Hello everyone, welcome to Code Hub. So today we are going to learn how to install JDK and Edit Plus on our system. So JDK and Edit Plus are the basic requirement which we need to start learning Java. Okay, so we will proceed first by installing Edit Plus, then we'll go for JDK and we'll see how we can install both this software. So Edit Plus you can download from the official website of Edit Plus. Uh, for our perspective, what we have done is like we have downloaded edit plus okay so you can see that edit plus i have downloaded so what you have to do is like you have to just go, go here accept it so it will ask permission you should give yes and then i what i will be doing i don't want a desktop shortcut i will start start copying and you see how fast the installation is and the installation goes very well so once the installation is completed okay what you have to do you have to just search for edit plus or if you have a desktop shortcut you can use that as well and then you see that they're here asking to accept the license agreement. So you, I am just selecting yes. And then this is the directory which they are asking if you want to change, you can change or you can continue. So I just want to keep the default whatever Edit Plus have gave us. So I will click OK and it is asking, do you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. So you see, you can see right that they are asking for username and registration code. So for our, for my perspective, what I have done is like I have a username, I am pasting it over here. And then <clears throat> I have a serial key also. That means this registration code also I have. So what I will be doing, I will be copying it and then I will be pasting it over here and I will do register. So you can see it is telling you should restart edit plus to activate your inputs. So I will restart my edit plus. So I'm closing it and then I am just trying to restart it again. So once this is done, your edit plus has been configured successfully and it is installed. So this is the part for edit plus installation. Why I'm telling that edit plus is important. Why? Because when you are starting learning Java from basics, you should use this. So, so, see, if I want to write a Java file, you can just go here new and you, when you will do Java, it will just open the .java file. So it is very handy and it is very useful while learning for beginner. Uh, okay, so we'll close this for now. Why? Because uh we have installed the edit plus successfully now it's the term for jdk so for current version of jdk is 17 i will be posting the link from where you can download it actually you can download it from oracle website okay so this is linux this is mac and this is windows so for us what we have done is like we have downloaded this installer for 64 bit and you can see the downloading will start for us what we have done we have already downloaded it for faster for making this video and we'll be continuing installing with this so this link you don't worry about i will be posting inside the description so you can go there and you can just download it okay so no issue so now you can see it is asking for next next so this is the simple installation both are simple installation nothing to worry about so you can see it is taking a bit time to install but it may be faster. So it is telling yes, JD, uh, Java trademark it is SE, that is standard edition of development kit 17.0.2, 64-bit successfully installed. So how to check that whether that Java has been installed successfully or not? So for that, what you have to do, you have to type CMD in the search bar. And once it open it, what you can do is like, you can just type Java minus version java minus version so once you do this you will see that java version is there 17.0.2 and <clears throat> you can see it is a standard runtime environment build this much it is given and java hotspot also it is given so this is how you can check that whether the java is installed on your system or not so for us java is now installed so basically we have installed jdk so jdk installation is successful now we can start writing program for java and let me show you one program how to write it okay so i will open the edit plus once again edit plus once again then after that i will do one new file java so this is hello world i will write is write the name as example example copy it save it so i'm saving it on desktop itself so once this is saved now you, what you have to do you have to compile it you can see right here java is create uh, java file is created with example so i will open the terminal over here so you can see this terminal is open so now i will do java c and then the file name example 
example dot java so once you do this compilation is successful now i want to execute it so i need, i will give the class name so this is the thing you can see the hello world is printed so your java is working perfectly in the system so this is how what you can do you can install java on your system so hope guys i think that you might have understood how to install jdk and uh, edit plus on your system so these are the prerequisites to in to start your java courses for beginners okay so thank you for watching keep like sub subscribe to our channel and support us thank you bye bye